Danger Dolan. Alan Bailey asks, could you cover what happened to the Aspects? They are mortal now, but what does that mean? What are they doing? Do they not have the power to do what they are created for? Like the bronze not dealing with time. So as we all know, at the end of Cataclysm, all the Aspects lost their powers and thus their influence over the Dragonflights. The champions who fought at our side assured the survival of our world. But now, we must see it with mortal eyes. We Dragon Aspects have fulfilled our great purpose, and our ancient power is expended. What this did was it made dragons start relying on mortals to help them with their problems. You know, instead of relying on this one big amazing dragon. Now make no mistake, the responsibilities that the Aspects had are still very much important. Like the green dragons taking care of the Emerald Dream, the bronze dragons with time. And yes, the Bronze Dragons are still very much responsible for time. It's just that now they don't have any control over it. So it means with the Bronze Dragons, like Yotnos Dormu, who is the aspect of time, right? He can't just go back and solve all our problems for us. Now he needs our help, along with the Dragon Flights, to do shit. The reason these aspects gave up the powers at the end of Cataclysm is pretty much the Titans gave it to them originally so that they could prevent the Hour of Twilight. And after all that garbage involving Deathwing, they did manage to prevent the Hour of Twilight. But just because that didn't happen doesn't mean there aren't still threats that could destroy the entire world. And there are plenty of those. There's even been hints at like a true end time to surpass the burnt out Dragon Blight one that we saw in Cataclysm. Now in the Dawn of the Aspect ebook series by Richard Knack, the Aspects are trying to find out what their purpose is in this world now. And it's due to the actions of Caligos that they finally realize that they, they still had plenty to contribute even before they became Aspects. I mean, they teamed up and took out a gigantic ass fucking proto Drake. It was very impressive. So yes, they are still useful characters, they just won't ever be the centerfold go to superhero dragons. In fact, when Caligos, the former aspect of magic, walked around some other of his blue dragons, they actually felt quite awkward around him because they didn't know whether to bow or to just ignore him or what. So it's just a case of fitting into the world now that they can't just snap their fingers and conjure some delicious biscuits. Well, they probably could, but they wouldn't be chock chip or anything. So here are my thoughts. I believe that these are still ridiculously cool characters, each and every one of them. I mean, Nazdormu is voiced by Martin Sheen. And I personally feel that taking away their aspect slash Titan powers, it's gonna make them more relatable now. You think about someone like Bruce Wayne, right? They grew up with like a lot of money and you have no reason to really like this character, but once they kind of get down and dirty, he spends some time with criminals to try and get in their head and then ultimately he becomes the Batman. But it's that journey that makes you like him. I think it's the same thing with these aspects. We're now in the position to get to know them better. It also leaves some more concrete expansion possibilities. Like before we had just aspects protecting the Emerald Dream and the Timeways and the old gods could barely do anything because the aspects were just all all over their shit. But now, all the defense relies on the dragon flights and mortals helping them to actually stop this stuff. It's like Metropolis without a Superman. Suddenly, it becomes a prime target, and the floor is left wide open for more heroes to show up. It might also be hinting that the Titans could return to handle the old gods themselves. I mean, the reason they originally gave the Aspects their powers is because they saw them take down Galakron, that gigantic proto-drake, and they decided, hey, you guys should help protect Azeroth while we're off getting some groceries. So if the Aspects have fulfilled their purpose by taking down Deathwing, who is, by all accounts, a servant of the Old Gods, there's really nothing stopping the Old Gods from just wreaking havoc in their own ways. But long story short, it's not that big of a deal that the Aspects lost their power. All it means is that we're not reliant on a Super Dragon to solve our problems. We need the dragon flights and mortals to team up and contribute now. I think it was a smart move. We'll have to wait and see. That's it for this chat box. If you'd like to see me cover a topic really quick, leave a comment below. Have a good one.